Okay, I'm going to teach you how to play Soldier's Joy in the key of C. But it is in normal banjo G tuning. First, let's play it all through. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So that was Soldier's Joy in the key of C. Normally you would play that with the capo at the second fret, but some people don't even have a fifth string capo, so without the fifth string capo you can't really move to the second fret and play the same fingerings without that capo on your just fifth string, plus your regular capo of course. Um, but if you do play it with a fiddle player or a mandolin player, you will have to capo to the second fret, but we're keeping it open for now, playing it in the key of C. Uh, let me give you just a basic tuning so you can play along with me. Here's your D or first. B or second. G or third. D or fourth. And high short string G or fifth. Here's a full C chord in G tuning. So this is a combination of melodic style and some scrug style, and I tried to keep the melodic style parts of it at a minimum. Um, so for those of you who are not as familiar with melodic style, you might find it still approachable. So the first fingering you will need to play this tune is index finger on the first string third fret ring finger on the second string fifth fret and you would play those two notes from second to first string those are your pickup notes into the tune so again second string at the fifth first string at the third now we go to a C chord I just use a partial C chord because I don't need that low note and you're going to do a roll on that first fret, second fret C chord. And what you need to do is start that roll at your fifth string. Bump. So today we'll just work on the A part, which repeats two times. And then in the next lesson, I'll show you the B part. So the first fingering you will need to play this tune is index finger on the first string third fret and ring finger on the second string fifth fret. And you would play those two notes from second to first string. Those are your pickup notes into the tune. So again, second string at the fifth, first string 
at the third. And now I need a partial C chord to play a bit of the first part. I hold that in place. I'm going to play a roll which starts on your fifth string. Should be obvious you pick that with your thumb. Go to the other side, the first string, and then go to the second string, pick with your index, back to the first string, pick with the middle. So the roll is string wise. Five, one, two, one. Over and over. Five, one, two, one. Five, one, two, one. Two times around. Let me play you what we have so far. I'll count just three beats and then bring in the pickup notes. Got your pickup notes set up? One, two, three. Next, go back to your fifth string. That's going to give you time to shift to a higher up the neck fingering. You're going to have your pinky on the first string 10th fret. And your index finger will be at the second string 8th fret. So when you hit that fifth string from before, you go out to the first string, now fretted at the 10th fret, back to the fifth string, then go to the second string, which is fretted at the eighth fret, and back to the first string, and another fifth string. Now you will find that there are two of the same note within this framework, the fifth string open, and the second string eighth fret but the roll causes a nice rhythmic pattern on that without having to move your fingers around a lot. You're just holding this one up the neck fingering. So the entire section with this fingering down is fifth string open, first string, back to fifth string, second string, first string, and fifth string once more. Let me play you that entire sequence just on that fingering. This time I'll count four beats. One, two, and three, and four, and. One more time. One, two, and three, and four. Now, I'm going back to the pickup notes again. Same position, fifth fret, third fret, second and first strings. And we play all the notes that we started with. Let me give a little count in case you want to play along. One, two, three, yeah. C chord. Okay, so now I'm going to take it from the top and everything we've played so far. One, and two, and three, and. Now, we will do the same series of strings we did with this high position, but now all on open strings. And those open strings are 5th, 1st, 5th, 2nd, 1st, and 5th. 
Let me count that off four beats and play those strings with me. One, two, three, four. that point we go back to yet the beginning again I'll give you a little count one two three Then, we go back down to that starter position once more. Go to your C chord, second string, first string, fifth string. Then open, because now we're on a G chord. First string, second string, first string. So what you just heard, uh, the last eight notes anyway, um, sound like so. You got your C chord in place, and you start at the fifth string, fifth, second, first, now open it up, first, second, first. then go back to your C chord. This is the ending of all the sections, which is C chord down, second string, first string, third string, first, second. And then the A part starts over again. So let me play the A part nice and slow, and I'll kind of talk through the positions as best I can. It's going to be a count of one and two and three and one and two and three and up the neck fifth string shift begin C chord Now open it up, fifth, second, first. Begin again. Fifth string up the neck. Starter position. C chord, second, first, fifth string. Open it up, first string, second, first, fifth, then the C chord, second, first, third, second, first. Now I'll play the entire A part up to tempo. One and two and three and. and then start again.
Now, just to bring another dimension to it, I was playing it in what is known as straight eighth note time. What you need to do with a tune like this is to put it into shuffle time. Now, if I were to have a four beat measure, to clap my hands in eighth notes in straight time would sound like so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, etc. It's two claps per beat. Now the shuffle time is still two claps per beat, but the first beat waits a little longer and the second beat is shorter. Here's what shuffle time sounds like clapped out. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. So if I put Soldier's Joy in the shuffle time, it's long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. So see if you can keep that shuffle time going with me now, and we'll play it together. One, and two, and three. Now, picking up the tempo and doing it still in the shuffle time. Two times through this time. One, and two, and three, and. That's the A part, two times for Soldier's Joy. We'll make that tablature available to you at the store if you'd like to look at it.